What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Angel Altieri. If this is your first time here, welcome to the video. Last time I did a collection video on my bronzers, blushes, and face powders. Now let's get into my base products, my primers, foundations, and concealers. I have a lot of them, even though, again, I barely wear my makeup, but I love I love it. I love buying makeup. I just bought a new foundation, trying it on right now, and I'm obsessed so far. I'm trying the pure Love Your Selfie. Yeah, Love Your Selfie 401 foundation. So far, so fucking good. Um, so yeah, let's just dive right into the video. Let's get it. Okay, so here is where I keep all of my primers or all of the products I've put on before my foundation. Okay, first I have this Touch and Soul Nord 4 Foam Primer. I use this to fill in my pores. Very simple. This also fills in my pores. The Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This gives a nice filter smoothing effect on the skin. What else fills in pores? My NYX Angeville also gives me the same effect same effect as the Smashbox. This is also very similar to the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. I got this, I think, in a subscription bag. Okay, so then I have this L'Oreal Infallible Matte Lock Primer. This is the only mattifying primer I have. I bought this for the summertime for when I get a little bit oilier, a little bit sweatier. I haven't used this a bunch but if I really want to lock in my makeup for a long time and I know I'm going to be outside I'll use this one then I have this sample Too Faced Hangover RX replenishing face primer I haven't really used it so can't see if it's good or not but I have it and it's nice to travel with I just got this in my recent Ulta haul this is the Too Faced Hangover RX good to go skin protecting SPF 25 moisturizer. Um, I wanted this because Katie recommended it. Um, it's good for <clears throat> moisturizing the skin, good hydration, lightweight, and it has SPF. So I don't have to include wearing any extra sunscreen. I could just put this on. I have this from my BoxyCharm No No Pore Bloom Prime Essence. This, I mean, it's nothing magical, but I have it, I use it, it's hydrating, it gives a little sheen to the skin, it's really pretty. Then I just tried, Jesus, I tried this out yesterday, this is the Wonder Beauty Glow Head Illuminating Face Oil. For an oil, it does not feel oily, it sinks right into my skin, I feel plump, I feel nourished, but I wouldn't say it's illuminating. I feel like I feel I didn't feel very illuminated but still very pretty I have it so we'll use it I have a mini milk hydro grip primer I use this for when I want to do a full glam and I want it to last all day it's very good for the longevity of makeup then I have a bunch of these glam glow glow starter mega illuminating moisturizers in nude glow I love this for a very glowy dewy look um i use this in most of my intros for a nice glowy skin you want to know what makes me shine it's this it's this paired with my becca shimmering skin perfectors i included these in my highlighter videos but i use these under makeup so i guess you can say it's primer i have the shade opal and sea pop and then I have a sample of Tatcha Silk Canvas. This has lasted me a long time. I use this for very special occasions. Um, I just might purchase a mini. I don't want the full size because I haven't gone through a full size of anything. So yeah, I really like this to fill in my pores and it does give a silk canvas effect. I guess I can include this Smashbox Photo Femin- Photo Femin- I'm gonna, Photo Finish so chill coconut primer water i've used a ton of this um i use this a lot to prime my face along with the no problem um primer 
It's really nice, really hydrating. I don't set my face with this, but I use it a lot for priming. Here is where I keep all of my foundations, all nice and snug. So, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm trying to start off with all the products that match me in the summertime. First, I have this Pure Form 1 Love Your Selfie Foundation in the shade TN5. I just recently bought this. And I love it. Let me zoom in. Hold on. Okay, so this is the Pure Foundation. Oh, why do I love it? Um, I tried it out for two days in a row and I love it. It's a nice skin-like finish. You can get very full coverage, but I'm not very into full coverage, so I have a nice medium coverage. It's very skin-like. It lasts an extremely long time. It doesn't sink into my lines by any means. I love this. Then, this is what I was using in my first two videos, the YSL Touche Claw. All in one glow in the shade BB50. I think it's like warm honey or something like that. This really does give a nice, beautiful glow to the skin. It's more like it's supposed to be a tint. It's very moisturizing, great coverage. I love it. Wow, look at the difference in tones. How weird is that? But they both work for me. This is the Wet n Wild. Mega Cushion Foundation with SPF 15 in the shade Honey Beige. I got this on sale somewhere, like 28 or something. Um, I just pounced my Beauty Blender in here. It's a very beautiful foundation. Great coverage. Is it full coverage? I guess I would say full coverage, but I don't ever build my foundations up to be very full. So that's not really what I look for. It's very easy. It looks like skin. Doesn't make me look cakey. Doesn't get creasy. I love it. Then I have the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Foundation in the shade Y415. It truly is a matte velvet. I haven't worn this too much. I need to wear it a little bit more but wow look at the difference look at the difference in color let me fix my brightness okay that's a little bit better seems a little bit light maybe that's why i haven't really worn it but maybe mix in it to pure oh that would be beautiful um for me when i've worn it i wouldn't say the lasting power is what i like it to be even though it says 24 hour wear but yeah, I haven't tried it out enough. I mean, I have all these foundations. Why don't I wear them? I don't know. Then this is too dark for me. I use this to mix into all of my light foundations. This is the L'Oreal Infallible 24-hour Fresh Wear Foundation in 505. Toffee. Way too dark for me. I mix this into the other L'Oreal foundation I have to darken it or any of my other foundations that I have to darken it. If I got more tan this summer, like if I go out to the beach or the pool a few more times, it would be my color, but not right now. I love this foundation because it looks like skin, great coverage, great lasting time. Doesn't sink into my pores. It sinks into my lines after a long time, but I have pretty deep set lines, so it's whatever. I also use this in the summertime. This is the first A Beauty Triple Protection Skin Tint with Goji Berry and SPF 15. I got this at TJ Maxx for probably like 10 bucks. I struggle, look, I struggle to get any product out ever. Like, it's such a pretty, oh, there it goes. This isn't a foundation. This is very sheer. This is literally a skin tint. I put this on with my fingers. I put it in like it's. I put it in. I put it on like it's um, a moisturizer, maybe concealer, maybe not. Um, this just evens out my skin tone and it has SPF, so it's perfect for the summertime. These are the rest of my foundations. Why do I have so many? I don't know. I don't even wear makeup all the time. This is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear in 475. Sun beige. 
this in the summer a little bit too late for me like just a little bit i use this more in the fall maybe spring this is what it looks like you know what i like it already then this is the ColourPop no filter foundation in the shade medium dark 120 this gives a nice again <gasps> wow look how much i freaking pumped out this gives a nice filter effect to the skin like it claims to i haven't worn this in a very very long time but damn that's so much foundation um it's very full coverage very nice again i haven't worn it in a long time so not much to really say about it right now and then i have the color pop no filter stick foundation in medium tent medium 110 w so it's a little bit lighter i don't know why i think i couldn't figure out what this shade was so then i got this one this one works for Maybe foundation ever. This works for me more in the winter time when I definitely don't have a tan on. Not on when I don't have a tan. This is the Makeup Revolution Fast Face Stick Foundation in F10. I didn't really like this at first because stick foundations tend to or might sit weird on my nose. Just like Robbie Christie, if a foundation um, applies weird on my nose, I know right away it ain't working. And this color was really weird. Like, this is very warm yellow, and this is very neutral, almost pinky. Um, but it's very creamy, and I mix these in together to get a nice shade for me in the wintertime. And I actually really like it. I do set it a lot with powder, um, so it doesn't move around. But I really like it, and I mean, they're not my shades right now, so I'll get back to it in the wintertime. Another stick foundation, this is the Hourglass. Hourglass, Hourglass, Vanish Stick Foundation in Golden. I got this because everybody raves about it. So I was like, let me get it. It's a little bit light for me now. Again, more like a winter fall shade when I'm losing my tan. Uh, it's creamy. It's be like it gives the most beautiful finish to the skin. It's a little bit glowy, not too glowy. You don't look oily. It's not matte. It's gorgeous. I also want to point out, I haven't said it before, I have combination normal skin. My T-zone gets very oily, mostly my nose. My nose gets very oily. The rest of my skin is pretty normal for the most part. Um, also in the winter time, my nose gets very dry. Even now my nose gets dry, so I always have to exfoliate. Um, it's complicated, my nose is very complicated. but. Yeah, so keep that in mind when I'm discussing the foundations I like. This is the Maybelline 24 Hour Super Safe Foundation in the shade 220 Natural Beige. This is too light. Too light. Um, Jesus. When I first got it, did it even match me when I first got it? I don't remember. It's definitely too light now. Um, but wow, I mix it in with the L'Oreal to darken it up. And I put this on and I was like, who am I? It was a complete mask um not in a bad way like i didn't look cakey i just like i can tell i had a full thick layer of foundation on it didn't feel too heavy maybe over time if i wore it long enough but yeah it it was insane the amount of coverage this gives you and i didn't even use that well, use that much so you don't need a lot to get um the coverage you want this is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Wear, Ultra Long Wear Foundation in the shade 3 and Buff. Again, people were loving on this like crazy. It's about to splatter. Whoa, whoa. Again, this is too light for me. Not too, too light. Definitely better than this, but too late for me now i'll get a nice flawless finish like it claims and it is very long wearing I haven't worn this in a while because it's light but since i have darker foundations maybe i'll mix it into something um but yeah i have that one 
then last but not least i love 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 the beauty blender balance foundation this is in the shade 3.6 i wish i got this in a deeper shade so i could wear it, I could wear it now i mix it in the foundations this looks like i'm not even really wearing anything this is so beautiful it's not thick i can barely feel it like it's too late it's way too late jesus christ um i have mixed it in with my other foundation so it doesn't darken it up because i love it so much i love the finish it barely sinks into my lines it lasts all day it makes my skin look amazing i love this foundation i highly highly recommend it this is where i keep oh my goodness all of my concealers in this bin right here so let's get into it first i have this elf flawless concealer this is the camel concealer in medium sand i've used this a couple times it's amazing very very full coverage it does crease on me it's a little bit drying i have very dry under eyes so it's not my favorite favorite but it is the only drugstore concealer i have so yeah i have it then i have these two tart concealers this is the tart creaseless concealer in the shade medium golden i got this because kathleen lights raved about it because she has dry under eyes also this is a very thick she's thick um very dewy it's almost too thick for me like i'm not sure if i really like it tried it out yesterday and it was okay it wasn't amazing so I'm still trying it out i've had it for a while but i'm still trying it out then i have the tar shape tape concealer and tan sand this is way too dark as a concealer clearly shade matched myself horribly wrong horribly wrong um i use this to spot conceal or if i'm doing full glam looks i use this as my eye base uh, eyeshadow primer I guess you can say because it's close to my skin tone and I don't like my eyeshadow primer too light because then it looks a little weird for me so I prefer this as my eye base or to carve out my brows then Jesus then I have my Too Faced Born This Way multi-use concealer in the shade Natural Beige I love this concealer it's very hydrating not dewy it's very skin like Everyone was talking about this. Um, I know Jackie Ina loves it. Alyssa Ashley loves it. Because of her, I bought this. It barely creases. It lasts a very long time. Great coverage. Beautiful concealer. I have, no, I that one. I have the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Self Setting Concealer in the shade 34. When I heard self setting, I was like, what? I had to try that. Um, this the shade selection is trash like it is no good but I wouldn't say it's self setting I'll still crease if I don't set it I'll crease even worse if I don't set it it gives full full coverage great coverage it looks beautiful um but yeah I would not say self setting my favorite concealer see Fenty Beauty Pro filter concealer in the shade 235 it's soft matte it's not for me it's not drying under my eyes it doesn't look dry it doesn't cake me up and with the powders i have they're just a match made in heaven i love this concealer so much i highly highly recommend it um then i have these two concealers Ooh. How beautiful is this packaging? A plus. This is the Jeffree Star Magic Star Concealer. I have two shades. I have C19. This shade is very neutral. Like if I have a one of these concealer shades that are a little bit too yellow or a little bit too light, I'll include this um, closer around my cheeks um, to balance it out. It's very neutral. And then I have C9. Is very light she matched myself poorly i bought c9 online and then i bought c19 in the store because i wanted c18 but it was out of stock 
Will I get that? Probably. I love this concealer. Look how light that is. I mix these two if I want to wear them together or put this right towards my inner corner to brighten it up even more. I love it. It's extremely flawless for me personally. I know some people don't like it, but I like it. It's just the right amount of coverage for me. It can be very full coverage or not. I love it so much. Paired with the, the setting powder, it's truly like an airbrushed look. I feel like I look like a doll. Finally, I have a first A Beauty Hello Fab Bendy Avocado Concealer in the shade 4. I use this for very natural, like no makeup, makeup days where I want a little bit, but not too much. Like I don't want the full face of makeup. So I might use my skin tint or maybe even like a cushion foundation. It may crease because it's very hydrating. But again, you set it, forget it, or don't set it. It gives a very um, healthy look to the skin, very glowy, not too glowy. It doesn't look oily. It does look hydrating. Here are my contour sticks. Not very many. I don't contour that much. Um, if I'm doing a very full glam look, I will. But other than that, I don't really contour. This is the Fenty Matchstick in Mocha. I struggled using these at first, but the way I apply it, I swatch it just like this on my hand, put my brush in it, and then apply it to the cheeks. And it's the perfect shade for me to contour. I love it. It's when you rub it like this and warm it up, it is a little bit more creamy and it does blend in very well. No problem. These are my favorite contour sticks. Extremely, extremely creamy. These are the KKW cream sticks in what is this? Tan one contour and medium two contour. I first bought the dual ended six, which came with the medium shade. This is a little bit a little bit more yellow. And then this is the medium. And then this is a little bit better as a contour contour. This will bronze me up a little bit, but yeah, look at that. It's a little bit cooler in tone, which will definitely contour. I use this on my cheeks, on my nose, everywhere everywhere you contour clearly so creamy blends very well i i love this product as soon as i was running out i bought more pretty sure i'm running out of this one almost no i'm not what who am i kidding but still if i run out i will definitely be getting more even if i don't contour all that much if i am doing a soft look and i don't want too much makeup i don't i don't want too much powder i'll go in with this to give me a little bit of a bronzier look without having to go in with a lot of bronzer. I love these products. Here are all my setting sprays. So let's just get into it. Why do I have so many? I don't know. This is the MAC Fix Plus setting spray in lavender, coconut, and rose. I hate the sense of rose, but I bought these in a trio for like $12. How could I not? I like Fix Plus. Um, and it was only $12 for three mini ones. They're perfect to travel with, by the way. That's why I like to get the small ones. And I don't like rose, but I don't mind if I have to set my face and I just blow it away. Coconut is my favorite scent. I use this to spray my shadows and enhance them or intensify them. And I use this at the end of my makeup. If I'm not going out for an extremely long time, I'll use this. It just melts everything. It's beautiful and helps my makeup last long. Um, this bad boy. Oh man, Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Makes sure the makeup last all night, all day, all week. Um, I don't have a huge one because I don't need to have my makeup last that long all the time. Like I don't do full glams for all day like that, but if I do, this is what I'm using. I hate the smell. And the mister is a little bit aggressive. But so I love it. And I'll probably at least always have a mini on deck. Always. This is the e.l.f. Glowy Dewy Mist with coconut and argan oil. This is very dewy. If you want to be dewy, you'll get this. 
um, for the summertime is I cannot even, I will get too oily too fast if I use this. This is great for, how much, I even though I use it a lot, um, this is also great to intensify shadows. But, yeah, right now I'm not using this a bunch because it, it gets crazy. Um, same with this Z Pixie Hydrating Milky Mist with Hyaluronic Acid and Black Oak. I don't know why it has that, why it's important, but I've used a good amount of this product. It's not extremely dewy, but it does give a beautiful finish. It melts all the makeup, and I wouldn't say it helps with longevity, but it does help with the appearance of my makeup and helping everything blend in with each other. This Morphe Continuous Setting Mist is my all-time favorite setting spray. I put this on right after I powder and it it makes me look like a brand new person. Sometimes if you look too powdery, put this on. If you want to melt everything into your skin, put this on. This is magic in a bottle and this mister, are you joking? Oh my gosh, I'm, I've, I'm addicted to this. This is probably my fourth bottle. I use it every single time. I do my makeup without a doubt. I need this product. I just saw the Jeffree Star and Morphe release on, not the release, the reveal of his strawberry version of this. And I've been going back and forth with whether or not I need two of those. And I've determined I do. I use this product so much. I love it. And I love the pink packaging. I love strawberries. So I'm getting two of them. Thank you so much. Okay guys, so that's the end of the video. That was my base product collection, primers, foundations, concealers, and even setting sprays. Um, next time I'll probably get into, what should I get into? My eye products, my eyebrow products, eyeshadows, mascaras, lots of mascaras. I'm obsessed with mascara. So yeah, that was my video. If there's a product you love, comment down below. If there's something you want to try out now that I've talked about it, comment down below. Is there anything that you love that I should try? So I could buy more makeup. <laughs> Be sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button down below, and hit the bell notification if you're feeling froggy, because apparently now I'm posting every Saturday. So hopefully that works out for me. But yeah, so far I'm posting every Saturday. Hit the bell notification if you want to be updated on when I post my next video, which will be next Saturday. Thank you so, so much for watching. Share this to a friend, one friend, all your friends. Share it to Instagram, Twitter. I'll link my social media down below. Um, I also list my Macari down below if you've been noticing that. I sell makeup on Macari if you're interested. I have good prices, good products. I don't know if you're interested um yeah thank you so so much for watching i appreciate the love the support the views the likes the subscribers thank you so so much for being here and stay tuned next time bye take the like button hit the like button hit the like button <laughs> am i even straight fashion nova stays texting me i don't want your freaking discount leave me alone I don't want clothes right now. I want makeup.